Okay. Right. Hey guys! I got a haircut. Can't really tell here, but my hair is a little bit shorter. Um, but anyway, the gospel is supposed to be offensive to some people. I asked a direct question about certain issues, um, like abortion or homosexuality. Uh, a lot of individuals will give a more of an ambiguous answer because they don't want to offend people. And I understand wanting everything that we say and do to come from love. I get that. But the truth is the truth, no matter how you say it. And if you're trying to sugarcoat it, you're giving them a lie. Stand the body of Christ dividing itself up into little pieces. I can't stand it. But I also struggle with the fact that I really do think that we should stay away from false teaching. And that's something that I try to encourage from the limited understanding that I have of some of the false teachings out there to encourage people to be aware of it and stay away from it um, and seek the Lord. But I have a big problem with pastors or people in, in church wanting to be so focused, like what I talk about with the seeker-friendly movement, wanting to be so focused on making the gospel inoffensive to people that they actually lie to people. Jesus says that we will be persecuted and we will be hated by all people because of him. And we've been really blessed in the West to not have a lot of persecution, especially compared to places like the Middle East, communist kinds of countries that often prohibit religion and the, the practicing of a faith. Some not so nice things, but it's like, whatever. That's nothing compared to people who are literally beaten, killed, and tortured or set on fire or whatever for the name of Jesus. If we are sugarcoating what we're saying because we want people to like us, we're not telling them the truth, we're giving them a lie. If you're preaching the gospel and you're not being persecuted at all, there's something probably very wrong with what you're teaching. And Satan will see that you're trying to glorify God and will try to shut it down. You know, we're told to rejoice uh, when, when trials come, when persecution comes. And so I think that spiritually, in some ways in the West, we've been a little bit pacified. That's part of where this people-pleasing, seeker-friendly preaching comes from. And uh, I would really caution people to stay away from that. I'm not concerned about being labeled a homophobe or a bigot because I follow what scripture says. I, I don't care. Call me, call me whatever you want because my king calls me his. And that is the only opinion and the only label that matters to me. And I would encourage... Uh, People, if you listen, if you listen to someone like this, to stay away because we're told in the latter times that many will depart from the faith and give way to teachers that satisfy their own lust, that that uh, satisfy their itching ears. He is coming back real soon. We want to be the best possible example for Christ to people with giving them the truth. We want people to come to the truth, not to like us. That doesn't matter. You like me, dislike me, 
That's fine. That's fine. I'm trying to do what I can for the Lord to serve Him because I love Him and I know that He has saved me and He has set me apart. So I'm going to honor, honor Him in what ways I can. And, and I fall short and I mess up. But you know what? His opinion is the only one that matters. We need the, the truth to be given to people, y'all. Because when they know the truth... Hallelujah, praise Jesus, they are free. The Bible says, Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen. So, God bless y'all. I love y'all. Bye, in Jesus' name.